We just updated Kittle AI to be lightning fast. We changed our version one Kittle AI generator to now be called Turbo. And Turbo is capable of making amazing art in about five to six seconds. And we're keeping the cost at only one credit. So you're going to be getting higher quality images without needing to use extra credits. So before I get into the specifics on what's different between Turbo and now Advanced, let's go ahead and test it out. All right, so over here in the left side panel, you'll notice that the image generator and the logo generator have changed to be below everything else so what we're going to do is go ahead and click on image generator and now up here at the top you can see we have turbo right here and advanced right here so advanced is going to be our version 2 that is going to be two credits per generation let's go back over to turbo which is super fast generative AI and you can also see that we have updated the image styles. So we have new image styles in here for you to check out. And this is going to be great for going back and forth between Turbo and Advanced if you have a paid account to see the differences in styles between what you could generate in uh, Turbo, which we think does really well with these determined styles that we've done, and then what we think does really well in Advanced. So the first pump prompt that we're going to try in Turbo is simply just a puffin. I love puffins. I'm always on the, the lookout for them if I'm traveling like in Scotland or Iceland or something. So for the first one, we're actually going to go to vintage drawing and this is going to be a vector style. You're going to have vector capability within Turbo, which is our version one AI now, which is truly amazing. So let's go ahead and click generate image. And look at that. That's pretty amazing. Just like that, we have our Puffin, which is completely vector. So now I can go in. I can change the colors to anything I want. There is actually a texture on this artboard. I'm going to go ahead and delete that texture. And so now you can see uh, we can still change our color to anything we want. If we wanted to add a border, we could do that which does look a little bit weird since some of it is cut out, uh, or if we wanted to add a shadow, we could, which actually kind of looks a little cool. So let's go ahead and try something else. So let's go ahead and duplicate this artboard. We're going to get that out of there. And so the next thing we're going to try is a wizard casting a spell. And what we're going to use for this one is pixel art. So we're going to go into the clip art style and we are going to choose pixel art, which I think obviously makes a lot of sense for a wizard casting a spell. So let's go ahead and generate that. That is super cool. Now you can see we have this background on it, which we can go ahead and hit AI background remover to get that out of the way. And just like that, we're ready to go with our pixelated uh, wizard. Now, again, if you have a pro plan, you have some of these extra tools here, for example, like image uh, vectorizer, where you can choose a variety of colors and vectorize it if you wanted to change the colors of any of this. So I'll go ahead and give it a second just to see what it does with vectorizing this. And so now you can see that all of these are now changeable. So if I wanted to, let's say, change all of these purples, maybe I want all of them to be more blue, I can go into all of these purples, just simply click over to the blue section of this slider, and now before you know it, we've got a little bit more of a uh, vibrant uh, wizard, less purple, or maybe if we want them to be uh, even more intense, we can make all of these more towards the the higher side of the category for even more uh, intensity. So let's go ahead and choose a, another one. So, okay, so for this next one, we are going to try a main, a mancoon cat or main coon cat, however you'd like to say it. You let me know in the comments how you think it's pronounced, but we're also going to put portrait of a mancoon cat. Hopefully I'm spelling that right. We're going to choose photography because I want this to be super realistic. So let's go ahead and hit generate image that is pretty wicked wow look at that look how cool that is I mean that's that's pretty hyper realistic I mean 
that's pretty good. I don't have any other notes for this one. That was actually really, really good. Uh, so hopefully you're starting to see how amazing the the version one AI is now. Hopefully it can help you a ton in your uh, projects without having to go over to advanced all the time and use two credits when you can just use one credit and get a lot more consistent imagery. All right, the last one we're going to try is a sailboat, and we're going to have that anchored in the bay. Whatever the AI decides to, to, to think the bay is. And we've got this new one called Detailed Drawing. Uh, and so we're going to try that out to see what that looks like. It's kind of like, looks a little bit like colored pencil to me. Look at that. Look how cool that is. What an interesting style. It's like somewhere mixed between watercolor and uh pen pencil like yeah just like colored pencil and and somewhere in between those two like just look at how cool they've got the water here with the shade this is so 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 nice now i also want to show how the ai can be a lot better with trying to get the aspect or the kind of focal point of what you want for example a lot of people might try their prompts and they get cut off so that for example uh we could go with this example of the mancoon you can see that it's only the bottom i did say portrait so obviously the word portrait is going to give me more of that headshot look and feel but what i'm going to do is actually go ahead and duplicate this I'm going to get rid of this, and we're going to go through and use an example to try and see uh, how we can get something better. So what I'm going to start with is a happy dog. So that's very basic. Um, what I'm going to assume it gives me is most likely the, the, the face of a dog, right? Okay, and that's exactly what I was thinking. So here we've got the face of a dog, and that was just this first prompt right here which is a happy dog. I'm gonna go ahead and come over here. I'm gonna hit text, and I'm going to kind of keep these uh, next to them so that we know uh, so that we know what, what prompt it is that we're using. So the next thing I'm gonna try is a happy dog full body. So that would be the most next logical sense is if you didn't get a full body, well, you might say, well, give, give me the full body. So let's generate that image and let's see what that comes up with. Okay, so that's obviously a lot better, right? So now we've got, uh, now we've got just a happy dog, which is just the face. Now we've got a full on picture of a dog. I mean, that is a full that's a full dog <laughs> if, if, unless I'm unless I'm mistaken. So let's copy this over. And we're gonna put uh, full body just so you can you guys can see the prompts. We can save the prompts, and we know what we're doing now. Uh, what I think would be even better is if you can provide the type of dog that you're looking for, the breed of dog, uh, maybe even the color. And so, what we're gonna do is instead of happy dog, I'm gonna put Dalmatian as well if I can spell it right uh, yeah I, I don't think it matters if it's uppercase or lowercase and in addition to full body I'm actually going to put standing so actually I'll put happy standing Dalmatian full body just because I actually like the, the way that it came full body here and I don't want it to accidentally be sitting down I don't want it to accidentally be laying down And there we go. I mean, that looks pretty. That looks pretty cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and copy this over. And so obviously, this was just one example. You could go through. Um, this doesn't necessarily have to apply to only. Uh, this doesn't have to apply to only animals. Of course, you could try different things. You could try different objects. You could try different. Um, you know, ethereal objects like light. You could try light coming from. You know, a window, a shadow coming from whatever. You could try all these different things for uh, your AI prompts. But hopefully this is a good example of how just tacking on a few keywords can help you get a much better render in 
the version one, Turbo, the version one AI without having to spend a ton of credits. So here's a quick recap list of what has changed and what we covered so far. We upgraded the model for our standard image generator to now be called Turbo. It's no longer called V1. We improved the style presets in Turbo so that they are much better aligned with both the free and the paid version, so Turbo and Advanced. So now both of those preset styles really will behave more accurately together. The V2 generator is now called Advanced but there aren't any significant changes to the advanced model yet. We've also made it a lot easier now to switch back and forth between turbo and advanced without having to click additional buttons and cog wheels and try to select which version you want. The logo generator, as you saw there in the beginning, has moved to its own panel, so it's now no longer hiding in between the Kittle AI section, and it is now very easy for you to go and select. Now again, if you're on a paid plan, don't forget that you can go back and forth between Advanced and Turbo. By no means do you have to only use Advanced if you have a paid plan. So make sure you utilize the new presets that we've added to Turbo and go back and forth and try to figure out something that you need for your creative project. Now free users still have access to Turbo, you just have a limited credit amount before you will need to upgrade. Well let me know what you think of our new Turbo AI down in the comments. Have you used it yet? Is it much more accurate for you? Are you getting better renders? Let me know all of that down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It really helps us out a ton and it allows you not to miss anything when we do new and exciting updates just like this. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and that bell and we we will see you in the next video.